Let's make a new button that's going to show the room form when I click it. So where's this going to go? Probably in room list. Yeah, probably in room list. So here's the sidebar. Room list is way down there, right? Boy, we have a lot of props going to going in there now. Set current room. Show room form equals this dot show room form. Okay, let's check out sidebar. A lot of props. Show room form. Maybe it's so many we shouldn't have even destructured. I don't know. Uh, so we should go into room list. Show room form equals just show room form. Not this dot, not this dot props dot. Just show room form. Let's look at room list. Okay, it should probably go uh, like next to the H2. Uh, so I'm going to wrap the H2 in a div and put the button here. I use a font awesome icon for this. Font awesome icons gallery free. With some sort of little plus thing. There we go, like a plus inside a circle. Looks good. Copy that. Class name instead of class, of course. Probably need some styles here. Um, but let's just see how this works. So the button should have on click, on click, oops, uh, need to break out my new thing here, show room form, on click equals show room form. How are we looking? There's the button. Does it work? The button does work. Cool. I have to refresh to get it back because I can't hide it, but the button does do the thing. Now let's just make it look less terrible. So this div here, um, I am using Aphrodite. So I'll use class name to style it. So class name equals, say, CSS styles dot heading, I'll say. So let's add a new style here called heading. I think the main thing I want here is display flex. And uh, display flex will get the button and the H2 next to each other instead of one on top of each other. There we go. Then I want the extra space that's left over after I put those there to go in between the two so that they're spread out. For that, I will use justify content space between. Justify content space between. There we go. They look like they're vertically centered. I want to make sure they're vertically centered after I get finished styling that button. So align items, center. There we go. Now I don't want all that nonsense on the button, so I'll also style the button. Here's the button. So let's put class name equals uh, CSS styles dot button.
And let's style this thing. I'm just going to paste some styles in here. And I'll copy and paste this. Here's what I just pasted in. Did it ahead of time. Get rid of the border, set the background color transparent, get rid of the outline and the padding, set the color to a mostly translucent uh, white so that it's kind of gray, set the font size, set the cursor, and then put a color effect on the hover. So, see that? Beautiful. Does the button work? Heck yeah, it does. So here's my whole room list component once I finished with it. Um, eh, one more thing. What if this plus doesn't, it doesn't show up? What if this icon doesn't show up? I need to make sure there's some text there instead, right? So let's throw a title prop on here. Title equals uh, add room. May as well be descriptive. Plus doesn't tell someone much if they can't see any of this. Add room is pretty good. What was what? Well, for our purposes, it stands for icon. It's a, it's a meaningless, semantically meaningless element. It meant italics back in the day, but we use EM for that now, for emphasis. So that's just what Font Awesome decided to use when they started doing this, because it's a standard element, but it doesn't mean anything. So we're using it for icons. There you go, that's better. So add, add room button to the sidebar, or new room button if you want to call it that. <laughs> 